minus 38 centigrade when I got up this morning out there. Anyway, this amazing material, this is a carbon felt pad. It's such a good material. I seem to find a new use for it every day and I wonder how I live without it for so long. This is what the roll looks like. Now I'm using this besides all the other places I have used for it. Now I'm using it in the brew kettle as well. And so we're going to have a look at some of that right now. It's an eight gallon brew pot here. And uh, it's about a foot in there, there, which is convenient. And it's about four feet around in the circumference. So to make your own carbon felt jacket up, you would use the length would be your circumference, which again is four feet here. And I've doubled it over. So it's been doubled over and sewn along this seam and Velcro has been added, all thanks to the help from She Who Must Be Obeyed and her sewing skills. Cut out the handle locations and then stuck a little bit of uh, false leather on there just to stop it from tearing. So then when it's time to brew, whether I'm on induction like I am here or whether I was using an open flame, which if you recall, the temperatures that we were looking at this morning. I'm not going to be doing this in my backyard or garage today. I can take it and put it around the pot, fasten it up with the Velcro, and now I can put that on an open flame and it won't have any deleterious effects to the carbon felt. And you've done that just for the cost of the material. Your DIY carbon felt jacket. It certainly comes in handy when I want to solder on my countertop. If I just want to do a quick job such as tinning a wire like I'm doing here. This is an S Boston hand warmer and they can typically get quite hot. 165F is common for them and the problem with those for example is, is they use cotton in the reservoir eventually that cotton gets charred from the heat and it stops the evaporation of the fuel because it needs to catalyze this platinum catalyst that you see there so the way that we prevent that from happening is we stick a strip of carbon felt into the top. I want you to have a look at how cold it was when I got up this morning and here you can see uh, for those of you that live in the metric world this is what it was in Celsius and when they start to match up at, on the Fahrenheit scale as you see here you know that's cold and so you'll know why I designed my own 17, 18 watt boot warmers because I didn't want to spend $400 for an equivalent pair and I definitely need these when I go out skiing today. But the problem with these is, is they get so hot. So by the way, this is a ankle holster that I used to hold the battery pack that I built. And this actually, some of you may recognize that those of you who are secret agents, and I know a lot of secret agents watch my YouTube channel. This is a holster that holds your handgun down on your ankle. So anyway, this gets so hot when it's on the high power mode that you can't stand on it. And because what I want to do is warm the boot and not burn my foot off, you stand on the dorsal surface of it. Even then it's too hot so you make yourself a nice carbon felt insole or foot pad for that and not only does that keep your foot from burning because it's carbon felt of course it will stop that smelly sock odor 
and absorb some of that as well. So you get two purposes in bang for your buck. And if you want to build, of course, a 911 chair for your dispatch center, all those chairs use carbon felt filters in them because when a dispatcher farts, they can't just simply have all the other people run out of the room. Too much information, I know. Uh.